Considering Indonesia's geographic particularities and rural poverty, among other crippling social and political barriers, rural Indonesian areas face challenges against development, energy access, and future demands for energy. Within this context, the Energy Empowered Village Project will conduct its pilot implementation in a village on the Sumba Island in East Nusa Tenggara, as it faces these exact energy insecurity and energy dependence related challenges. The particular pilot village in which the model will be implemented in May was in part determined by a needs-based criteria, which considers income, general economic activities, availability of feedstock, and energy need in the village. Accordingly, the team identified three potential villages on the Sumba Island where team members Tasha and Arina conducted primary research through interviews with government stakeholders and community leaders, as well as focus groups with community members during spring break. After nearly a day of travel, they arrive at their first stop, Jakarta. Early morning the following day, they take a small plane to Wangapu on the Sumba Island where they meet with the mayor of East Sumba and the head of Wangapu's environment department to learn more about Wangapu and the surrounding villages, their access to energy, and the availability of public services and institutions. After an informative meeting, the girls head to the village of Tangedu in East Sumba, a potential recipient of the project, to meet with community leaders and conduct a community-wide focus group. The village is completely off-grid, and community members who participated in the focus group identified electricity access as being their primary need. They also identified the local school as being the ideal public institution to receive electricity from our project. In the following days, they visit Kondamaloba in central Sumba, an off-grid village, and Tambera, a traditional indigenous community in West Sumba, where they conduct similar research. After three long days of data collection, meetings with important stakeholders, and hours of car travel, the girls leave for Jakarta for meetings with the Ministry of Environment and Forestry, local partners, and an engineer with whom they discuss opportunities for the project and the equipment that will be delivered to one of the villages the girls visited. Based on the primary data collected in Sumba during spring break, we have identified Tangadu as being the village which best meets our criteria. The project was also warmly welcomed by the local government and community. According to the focus group and conversations had with community members, the pilot implementation of the Energy Empowered Village Global Collaboratory Project will deliver biofuel equipment and an electricity generator to the local school. Mm -hmm.